Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I will teach you how to draw the Mitsudomoe in Affinity Designer. The Mitsudomoe is a Japanese symbol coming from the Shinto religious tradition, and it represents the unending life cycles and a constant moving forward of energy and tree growth. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions, and we click on Create, and then we go to View, Guides, and we add some horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we'll make sure that snapping, snap to guides, and snap to object bounding boxes are enabled. And then we're going to start drawing the figure, so we take the ellipse tool, we set the fill to none, we leave the stroke as black, and we set the stroke width to 0.1. So we need the thinnest possible stroke, so the point of it is only to be able to see the circles. And then starting from the middle of the composition, and while holding CTRL and SHIFT to expand from the center and to keep the proportion one to one, we go ahead and we expand a circle until it is at 1600 pixels in dimensions. Alright, so now we have the first circle and we are pressing CTRL J to duplicate it. And then we are going to scale it down. We hold SHIFT and from the midpoint of the lower edge we scale it down. until it is about at 700 pixels in dimensions. Alright, so now we have the second circle, and now we are going to duplicate it to have two other circles of it. So we go here to enable transform origin, and we set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. We press enter to bring out the move duplicate panel. We check on duplicate, we set the numbers of copy to 2. And here at rotation, we set the rotation angle at 120 degrees. So this creates three circles overall, and we click on OK. And then we're going to create another set of three circles. So we press Ctrl J to duplicate the circle again, and now we are going to scale it up while holding Shift until it is about at 1060 pixels. And then we're going to repeat the same operation. We set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. We press Enter to bring out the Move Duplicate panel. We check on Duplicate and we set the number of copies to 2. And we set the rotation angle to 120 degrees. And we press on OK. So this creates the other set of three circles. So now we have all the circles that we need in order to complete the figure. So we press on Ctrl A to select all the elements of the figure. And then we take the Shape Builder tool. We set the action to plus and clean up all unused geometry. And then we're going to draw the figure, so it goes like this, from here, to here, to here, to here, to here, and finally here. So this is the figure. So we select it, we set the stroke as known, and we set the fill as black. And finally we press escape and we're going to create a circle that goes around it. So we take the ellipse tool, we set the fill as none, we set the stroke as black, we set the stroke width to 10, and then starting from the middle of the composition and while holding Ctrl and Shift we go ahead and we draw a circle. Alright, so this completes the figure, so you'll learn how to create the Mitsudomoe in Affinity Designer. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!